Perl Tutorial Part 51 Create and work with a flat file database. A flat file database is a database we create with a text file or with a CSV file or with a .dat file. So I've created in my Perl work directory a file called data.txt and I'll open this up. We have quite a simple flat file database. The first line is just telling us what each field is. So we have the countries of the world and the regions and their country codes. So the region of Africa, the country Algeria, has the country code DZ. And then the next entry, the region Africa, the country Angola with the country code AO. So we have pretty much all the countries and regions of the world. So this database, each line is a record and each record has three fields the region, the country and the code. Each field is separated by what's called a delimiter. Now a delimiter can be any kind of character but it must be a character that is not in the data itself so we use a pipe delimiter in this case and this is what we use to separate each field. So we're going to open up this flat file database and work with it in our script. First of all we open our file with our file handle file data.txt and we put our file into an array called data and then we close using our handle like so and now we want to shift off the first line of this database as this is not part of the database it's just telling us what our fields are. So let's shift our data array. Now I think we should print out a nice little heading saying countries of the world. Like so. Okay, now I'd like to create a for each loop and loop through every line of this data file. So, for each line of our data array. first thing we're going to do is chomp the line that will remove the line endings, the end character from each line so we don't need the new line characters so chomp chomp line now we need to split our fields so we've got region, country and code. We want to split each line into its three fields and give each field a name in the script. So the first 
field is the region, the second is the country, and then the third is the country code. And we split using the split function. Escape the pipe. Split the line. Like so. The next thing I'd like to do is create what I'd call a little switch or a little flag. Now I'm going to create a variable old region equals region. Now at the end of each for each loop old region will be made into whatever the variable region is. So that'll come into play now when we type in our if else statement. Now, if the region is not equal to the old region, we will print the region name in bold and then the country its code in brackets now we type in our else statement, so else we're just going to print this line here. Okay, so save the script and let's run it. I'll run it in the browser rather than in command prompt mode. Okay, so countries of the world, we get Africa, the region, come out in bold just once. We print the countries of Africa with the country code in brackets all through the African countries. We skip a line, we come to Antarctica, we put that in bold, list the country of Antarctica, come to the Arctic. And we get a nicely laid out list of the countries of the world listed in their various regions. So that's how we can work basically with a simple flat file database to produce a nice list. A flat file can be just a few lines long, it can be hundreds of lines long, this is probably about 150, maybe 200 lines long, or it can be thousands of lines long, and it can have as many fields as you like. So that's creating and working with a flat file database.